How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? It's Mike from Poketips Official, and today I'm going to be teaching you how you could get Melton and Mel Metal in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Eevee, and Pokemon Go. Yes, that's right, it's a three for one video. So let's start things off simple with Meltan. To get Meltan, you'll need a few things. So first off, you need a Pokemon Go account ready to go installed on your phone. Then, you'll need a copy of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu or Let's Go Eevee on the Nintendo Switch. In the Switch games, make sure that you're up to Fuchsia City because you're going to need to access the Go Park to make the magic happen. The next step is connecting the accounts. So on Pokemon Go, you're going to want to open up the game and then hit the Pokeball icon on the bottom screen and hit Settings in the top right. Scroll down and you'll see an option called Nintendo Switch, and from there just hit the icon that says Connect to Nintendo Switch. Now back on to Pokemon Let's Go, what you need to do in Let's Go is press X to open up the menu, Y to open up options, and then press Open Pokemon Go Settings. Keep pressing A and you'll see a little menu that says would you like to pair your game with the Pokemon Go account? Just press yes and it'll start searching for the Pokemon Go account we just set up and then hit yes once the trainer ID pops up and then you're paired and connected. Now it's time to get Meltan. To get Meltan is very simple now that you're connected. All you have to do is transfer one Pokemon from Pokemon Go over to Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee and then you'll be able to catch a lot of Meltan. Back on Pokemon Go, if you go to your Pokemon menu, you'll now see a little icon that looks like a Nintendo Switch. All you have to do is tap that, and it's going to allow you to select Pokemon that you could transfer over to Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. With transferring, you could only transfer Kanto Region Pokemon. It's automatically going to block any other Pokemon from being sent over. In addition, you can't send over Mew, and you can't send over any special event Pokemon, like Pikachu wearing a cute little hat. You could transfer over as many as you'd like, but all you need to transfer over is one, and it could be any Kanto Pokemon to get yourself a Meltan. Just keep in mind that any Pokemon you send from Pokemon Go to the Nintendo Switch cannot be sent back. Choose the Pokemon that you want to transfer over from Pokemon Go, and now let's jump right back to the Switch. Inside of Go Park, go talk to the attendant and select Bring Pokemon. You can pick whichever Go Park you want, it's not really that important right now, but just keep mashing A until the Pokemon are transferred. Now back on the phone, Pokemon Go, you'll see that your Pokemon have been transferred over, you'll get some candy, and you'll get a very special item called the Mystery Box. And this is how you get Meltan. Once you open that mystery box, you'll have a special lore going around your character which will attract Meltan to you and only you for the next 30 minutes. In that next 30 minutes, I'd recommend catching all the Meltan that you see because those Meltan candies are going to be very important later on. When I did this, I caught 7 Meltan literally just sitting in my room not moving at all, just being lazy. But if you go outside and walk around, I believe you could actually capture a few more. So if you want to get lots of Meltan, that's more than likely the thing to do. Once those 30 minutes are up, you're done, you can't catch any more Meltan for a week. That box won't open up again for another 7 days, and it will only open up if you do the same process again. You have to send another Pokemon back to Pokemon Let's Go, and then you'll be able to open up the box again. So congratulations! Give yourself a pat on the back because now you have Meltan, and you probably have quite a few of them. Now if you want one of those Meltan on the Nintendo Switch, it's as simple as just transferring it over like you did before, and now you'll have Meltan on the Switch and on your phone. Part 2, Mel Metal. So Mel Metal is the evolution of Meltan, which is actually a first for mythical Pokemon. All of them before Meltan did not evolve, so this one's breaking new ground. But how do you get it? Well, as you can see in Pokemon Go on your phone, Meltan needs 400 Meltan candies to evolve. You cannot evolve Meltan in Pokemon Let's Go, so you need to evolve it on your phone. Unfortunately, evolving Meltan can take a very long time. Like I said before, I only caught 7 Meltan when I used the mystery box, and that allowed me to get 21 Meltan candies because each Meltan gives 3 candies. So you can see how if I can only do that once a week, it's going to take some time. So I have a few tips and tricks for you to get more Meltan candies, so hopefully it won't take you 40,000 years to actually get yourself a Mel Metal. 
First off, make sure in Pokemon Go that you're doing raids. When you do raids and you complete the raid, you can get an item called Rare Candy, and Rare Candy in Pokemon Go can be used on any Pokemon, and when you use Rare Candy in Pokemon Go, it actually transforms into the candy of the Pokemon that you use it on. So if you use it on a Meltan, it'll turn into a Meltan Candy. Another extremely useful item to help you get a Melmetal faster is the Pineapp Berry, which also comes from Raids. When you use a Pineapp Berry on a wild Pokemon in Pokemon Go, it'll actually reward you with double the amount of candies that it normally would. So Meltan gives out three candies, when you use the Pineapp Berry and you successfully capture it, it turns into six candies, which will significantly speed up your time of getting Meltan candies. So number three, and this is kind of the obvious one, you could always just transfer the extra Meltan that you capture when you're trying to get all these candies out to the professor and you'll get one Meltan candy each time you transfer it. So that'll add up over time. And finally, you can also set Meltan as your buddy in Pokemon Go, but the problem with that is Meltan requires 20 kilometers. So you're going to be doing quite a lot of walking for not that much candy. But it can't hurt because every Meltan candy counts when you need 400 of them and you're limited on how many you get each week. And once you finally get those 400 candies, if you want to, you could transfer your Melmetal over to Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee and you'll be able to get it in those games, making it an extremely rare Pokemon. So my friends, that's how you get Meltan and Melmetal in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee, and Pokemon Go. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe so you can see more Pokemon guides just like this, and guys, I hope this really helped you out. Getting Melmetal is not going to be easy and not going to be quick, so I really hope that these tips and tricks will really help you get your Pokemon a little bit faster. So thanks for watching, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next Pokemon tutorial.